Hello. I'm sorry to say, but this video is going to be a bit of a rant. The other day I discovered that there had been a theft in the yard. And it was a theft of a catalytic converter off one of the cars in the yard. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I've got a couple of reasons for that which I'm not actually going to go into. Everybody's heard of catalytic converter theft. You get a horrible, scroty, worthless piece of whatever it is you want to fill in there with a trolley jack and a reciprocating saw and they jack your car up and saw the thing off and take it away. And they're getting to the point where they'll do it in broad daylight in supermarkets while there are people knocking about. Because I intend on keeping my videos monetized, I'm going to be very careful and how I explain myself here. So, that person that does this is, well think of a really, really horrible word that I haven't said. That's what they are, and worse. There are many horrible, disgusting crimes that people commit. And I put catalytic converter theft right up there with the worst of them for many, many reasons. For many people, their car is all they can afford. And so to have their catalytic converter stolen renders it scrap because they can't afford to have it fixed. There's an environmental factor to this as well. Very few old cars have their original cat still on them because they get stolen and then they get replaced if they're worthwhile replacing with an aftermarket cat. And the aftermarket cats are never as good as the original ones. And that means that they struggle quite often to pass their MOTs. But they do get through them eventually. But it also means, if you're concerned about this kind of thing, there's an awful lot more noxious gases going into the environment because of scrotes that steal them so they can sm Is it fair to assume that people who steal cats are on drugs? and low-life scumbags. Yes, it is. Not only has there been a theft in the yard, which means that basically some, someone that doesn't deserve what they've already got has been able to go out and buy something that they simply don't need and they don't deserve anyway. But the yard has become somewhat soiled because of it. The day I found this out, I just felt really unhappy being here. And since then, it's been a case of just looking around a lot more. Whenever I pick a car up and I notice that it's got an aftermarket catalytic converter, on one hand, it makes me feel really relieved because any of these thieves are not going to bother stealing it because it's just not worth the risk, because it's not worth anything anyway. But then, then there is that issue of them struggling with MOTs and pumping out nasty gases into the environment. It's really disappointing that I've got so few cars that are ready to be sold on or just need a couple of jobs. But half the cars that I have here are only here in the first place because some horrible piece of work has already stolen the catalytic converter off of them, rendering the whole car scrap. And for me, somebody who likes these old cars and dislikes anyone that steals other people's property, that's a really difficult thing to keep working with. If I may, I'm going to paint a picture of your typical cat thief. Well, for one thing, he's going to have no morals. He's going to have no empathy. He's going to be of very low intelligence and probably a moron. Pains me to say this, but I feel sorry for them just because of how disgusting they are. I'm kind of pleased to say that that was the only catalytic converter in the yard that was actually worth anything because the rest of them are all off the market. One thing really concerns me though, I think it's a generation of people now that just don't seem to have empathy. Whether that's because of growing up in a place where they've never had to try to get the things they want, they don't have to work, and the effect is that they cannot even begin to relate to the plight of the working man. This day and age should be the happiest time in history because although poverty does exist, people can have poverty at the same time as having Netflix. What happened to 
nice personalities and helpfulness. It's still there a little bit, but the majority of people don't think that's cool. It's cool to just have the most expensive clothing and to show off about it. Show off to the kind of people that can't afford clothing. I think the trouble in general is that people already have more than what they actually need. And they'll happily stab their own friends and family in the back just to get a little bit more. And it's, it's, an, it's an incredible attitude for people to have. Do you think it would be advisable to try and stop someone from stealing a cat? You might want to do. I certainly would want to. I'd want to go and do something, but when you've got a thug with a saw in his hand and not enough intelligence to think about the consequences of using it on a human, uh, well, this has been, I'm sure you'll agree, a thoroughly miserable video. Just the kind of thing that you don't tune into Project Nigel to watch. So let's try and cheer it up ever so slightly with this. What indeed can we do as a deterrent to these would-be thieves? And the answer of course is surprisingly little. Thieves always seem to have the law on their side. I mean if they get injured stealing your property they come after you for compensation. That's the way of the world these days and that being the way of the world is probably one of the causes for them being like this in the first place. In fact, most definitely. One of my friends suggested what we should do is have all exhausts electrified. And of course, yeah, there we go. That's doing it deliberately. So you get yourself into an awful lot of trouble. So we can't really do that. What about, here's an idea for you, charged with sound. So when you touch it, you get the biggest horn sound ever right underneath the car, right in your ear. Enough to scare some away and certainly enough to alert all of those around that there's some dodgy activities going on by, you know, someone that uh, we wouldn't really too worry about, the jackfall. <laughs> some people do truly deserve to have a ultimately miserable time. Why can't it be the people that actually deserve it, rather than those that don't? Anyway, that is the end of today's video. And I just want to apologise for it being a rather miserable one. Thanks very much.